Anyway, okay, LGBTQIA+. <sighs> For generations, LGBTQIA+, uh, lurking have a good stream. Thank you so much, uh, TGA. Uh, you have a good day as well, too. Uh, so, four generations, LGBT, uh, LGBT, wait a minute, where's the A? I'm, okay, so I was instinctively saying A. This one doesn't have A. And A does not stand for allies. So let's, let's remember that A does not stand for allies. Move my camera, or just my camera. Right, A does not stand for allies. A stands for asexual, aromantic, and I will say agender. I think it's meant to be just be like ace. Hey, but is it, that's what the A stands for, asexual. So it's LGBTQI. Yeah, I stands for intersex. Um, and I'm like, and I think it's like LGBTQIA. So they forgot the A. I guess they will say that that's part of the plus. Uh, and also part of the plus is questioning too. Uh, I I will like, accept the like if people are questioning if they're straight, questioning if there's this, which is fully welcome, honestly. Um, do kind of be like a part of that and if people are just like not, not sure oh that's why like there's like grace as well too <laughs> or great gender as well too i can i think see the gray sexuality as be that kind of thing i they are like i'm not sure or be like that uh even though to, for all intents and purposes or like visually looking at someone it seems like that person is like a cis dude or a cis woman is something like that a cis straight woman or a cis straight dude is something like that but they also be with a, um, a man that's with a man there like hey, it's all times and they seem like a cis gay man and so on and so forth but like at any point any whether it's in your romantic attraction your sexual attraction or your gender you can be questioning those things and, and it's okay also to be unsure of those things i'm kind of still exploring my gender i've kind of settled now for demi non-binary and gender queer because i just know for sure i'm not cis but i still present as like i look like a cis man a pass for a cis man i still present as like pretty much as a cis man except for the leggings i guess uh, so for all the time, and I definitely just use the men's bathroom all the time, and kind of like don't want to like have the hassle or anything like that. Or if I to, oh, just like, uh, and I'm, I just like not sure if I'm a woman essentially, and so that's why I just like uh, do that anyway. Uh, but it's like I have to, I'm, I'm probably going to like, I'm probably going to say LGBTQIA plus when it's actually read to be LGBTQI. Plus, but it's just it's going to be interesting both for a stream. Okay, everyone. So for two reasons, LGBTQI plus uh, Americans have summoned the courage to live authentically and proudly, even when it meant putting their lives and livelihood at risk. You know, some people don't want. So the one thing as well too is, I will naturally comment here after the first sentence. It's weird. It, it's weird for me, honestly. Where I'm just wearing leggings, and I get the compliment of "Wow, you're brave," and it's just kind of like, how is being authentically ourselves brave? Um, I know why it is, is because like many people are, we are demonized for like um, and, uh, the the they're not lying about the risk of like uh, lives and livelihoods as well too because we live in a etc. Our patriarchal society as well too, and the Democrats are better than the Republicans because the Democrats are not fascists, which is low bar. Or right, but like in some ways I kind of like don't trust the Democrats honestly to be or they're not going to be the most firm uh, fighters for LGBTQIA plus as well too. They don't I honestly if you ask me the leadership at least for the Democrats, they just don't care about us. They will just like uh pretend to care because it'll get us votes. That's honestly how I feel. Not because I'm a very cynical person, honestly. Um but anyway, let's continue on. But it's like I don't know. Some people feel would feel weird. I will say this. Some people feel weird if you say, wow, well, you're brave and something like that. Because, like, how long they're supposed to take it, honestly. But continuing on. Uh, LGBTQI plus um, Americans can continue to inspire and bring hope to all people seeking the uh, seeking a life true to who they are and to enrich every aspect of American lives. Democrats, okay, I have to comment here. Democrats, you are kind of close to being an inspirational porn. Of course it is. The Democrats are always going to be an inspirational porn. And this one, like, oh, oh, actually, this is a good thing to bring up. Casey Explosion hates it when, like, 
the when she's brought up in like and some and I also like uh, Jesse Gender I think in some sense but I could be wrong about this but it's case for so explosion sure has talked about this she hates how like she's identified as like a trans advocate or a trans activist case of is just trans so she's for trans rights speaks up for about trans rights and wants to protect trans lives because she's trans she has a vested interest in it how does that make her an activist as I, she'd rather be in like a, or like a job description as well as she'd rather be known as a Twitch streamer or a gamer and that sort of thing too. Oh, but like being a trans activist or advocate, it's kind of like seems like the publications, liberal publications, will just like assign that to like someone and who is trans and speaks out to this blah politics. Hey, listen, it, yeah, I know. I'm a, I'm in the queer section too. LG, and again, it's like I I'm I'm automatically saying this is LGBTQIA plus, but the A's not here. I just kind of did. I finally noticed it until like a few minutes ago. So it's just like I'm going to say LGBTQIA plus, even though there's not an A in it. Because uh, like yeah, I have no problem with the A being there. I'm not demanding that the A be there, but it's just like kind of it's like that. And it's just like listen, us queer folks, most of us like, um, they is not there. Shit. Yeah, they yeah, they is not here. Uh, which uh, which I also clarify, which I'm sure you and I know that like it, it feels half of themselves to get erased from because yeah exactly that's my problem. Uh, and A does not stand for an ally; it stands for asexual, aromantic, and agender. Or I'm um, well, I'm not sure if this includes agender, but I'm including agender in that too because like yeah, that's a, that's a whole, that's definitely a thing. I know people, my older sibling, I think actually think part agender as well too, like race. Um, and, and they are also like I think it does include any gender. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, but it's just like, uh, listen, we are not your inspiration. We're just here to want to live our lives. We just want to play video games. That's why some people. That's why a lot of trans people is like I, I think uh, if not, then, then I suppose any gender would fall under the like the trans people. Are. It it does. It would non binary. It uh, kind of falls under that as well too. The white line in the trans flag is for non binary folks. The pink lines for like trans girls and trans women. The blue lines for trans men. And the white lines for like everyone else. Uh, everyone else is not cis essentially. Hey, the the person who created the trans flag want the white line to represent non binary people. So like. Like, non binary people are trans. I accept that I have a trans identity, so I'm trans in that way. Um, uh, it's, but, like, that's, but I do not say that I'm transgender. It just is because I, I'm not transitioning as well. Too. I, am, I haven't yet, uh, I should say. It's always a possibility. I haven't yet to take in hormones or, like, um, or socially transition. I, can, I wear leggings, I have wore skirts. Uh, but I haven't, uh, like, gone outside in a full dress or anything like that. Uh, that'll be something, actually, me going out in a full dress and a beard. Uh, or I, my real name is still Jonathan, is a little too. Meanwhile, yeah, exactly. Uh, and so I, so that's why I don't say I'm transgender. My, I have a transgender. Hey, and I will allow that because, like, the word bitch has been, like, helped for, like, bullying as well, too. Uh, I'm a basic trans bitch, I guess. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, but just, like, it, 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 like, case explosion just like, and like to be referred to as a trans advocate or trans, uh, uh activist. Because, like, she does, wants to do that all the time. She talks about trans lives because she's trans and wants to just, like, live peacefully and play video games as well, too. Uh, and that's why I kind of like it, I basically cringe at like uh, how apparently LGBTQIA plus people are an inspiration to the like sissies and the straights. But it's just like, and it shouldn't have to be that like we need to like um, you know, fight for our, our own livelihood as well too. But like, yep, our like the our. Uh, existence is politicized. 
Uh, I mean, no, I know many trans people that just don't want to talk about politics, and but hate that they have to because of how our identities are politicized. But anyway, um, but the fight for equality is far from over. Uh, it, 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 even the Democrats are in charge, and they're charging everything across all sides. The fight for equality is still will not be over as long as there's capitalism, one thing. And also, like, the Democrats have not been great on trans issues, honestly. Uh, I mean, Biden kind of, like, compromised with the, like, a fascist in order to, like, say that, like, it's uh, for some states to, like, exclude, like, uh, trans people from, like, uh, high school sports as well, too, essentially, um, to compromise with them. Or, like, the, uh, her, how they, they're just really bad at bureaucratically as well, too. I'm going to allow that it's because it's held off for aggression. Uh, the fighting for equality is uh, still not over. It's fucking, it, it fucking would be if you assholes would uh, fuck off. I agree, Lucidia. Uh, it's really interesting. It's like, how do I suppose, like, okay, but it doesn't uh, get to blow up on the messages as well. Go. I kind of, like, have other tabs open. And, uh, so, I think I'm, like, try to, like, have my OCD brain ignore that as well, too. Again, uh, the, the, the re reminds like, I'm on there. There we go. All right. Um... So yeah, but fight for equality is far from uh, uh far from over as the LGBTQIA plus communities continue to face attacks and bigotry in states uh, across the country. Democrats are committed to the defending LGBTQIA plus rights. I can argue you're kind of bad at that sometimes. And even Steve Shives acknowledged that like Biden was re it was really disappointed in Biden uh, acquiesce uh, a ban on like uh, trans athletes or like a national ban on trans athletes or like leave it up to the states. I forget exactly what he did, but also be long on like it can happen here with like a uh, the specialist in that sort of thing too. I talk about like the policies or like the word in the bureaucratic policies. So, uh, uh, let me uh, also allow that. Uh, it pisses me off when the people with all the goddamn power go on about, like, fight for equality. Like, fuck off. You have all the power, but you eh, but eh, you do fucking nothing. Eat my ass, politicians. Exactly, the city. Yeah. Yeah. Either either they don't have all the power that like we assume that when we ha they have, or they just, like, have all that power, but they don't want to fucking use it. Which has always been my problems with the Democrats as well, too, is because, like, they're supposed to be the good ones. They are supposed to be the ones that we should have, like, faith in as well, too. But I don't. And I don't, and I'm not going to have, like, faith in, like, uh, the Democrats because, well, A, they're the bourgeoisie party. They're for the, like, a rich elite. They're just for, like, a different the category or a different group of rich elites. Well, the fascists are for the, the, the fascist Republican party are for the other uh, group of rich elites. Or the same, uh, but pretty much only the same group of, like, rich elites honestly because like wall street funds both of them all the major businesses fund fund both parts and again it's strategically because like if you're a major business a major conglomerate if you're disney for example if you're disney you want to have a seat at the table uh, with the government and students in charge whoever's in charge so the disney does give money to like the Republican party as well too even though ron DeSantis will decides to be bitchy and just like uh change the, like a city location and uh or remove a special tax exemption that Disney has in one place as well too because uh, Disney's making like woke entertainment uh, Disney's just like uh, I mean did it I mean I guess I have like about Owl House to like it be like a broadcast and something like that and I still it's the need to like see Owl House honestly um but yeah the like Disney is uh, his, Disney still needs to like do better on like uh, being like a uh, woke and that sort of thing too, and, and representing queer people as well too. Queer baiting is still a problem. Anyway, continuing on, uh, President Biden is committed to leading the most e equality administration in the history. Again, that's a low bar compared to the other like administrations. If this is the most progressive like uh, administration ever in the history of the United States of America, that's because like well, again, the United States of America is actually the imperialist corporations of white supremacy. Uh, because like when you start from the bottom, you only know, have the oh, the only place you go is up. Now the Duncan's in charge, they'll, they'll uh, start at the bottom and then dig. Um. 
Moving on. Uh, Democrats have uh, and President Biden signed the Historical Respect for Marriage Act, enshrining marriage equality in federal law. He reversed like uh, Trump's un-American ban on transgender service members and ended the disgraceful discrimination on, on blood donations by gay, gay and bisexual men. Hopefully that is the case, honestly, because like um, Eli Bosnett, he's a podcaster and he's a gay man. And and every time he's get like calls from like um I guess if this is the most progressive administration which I guess you can argue it it it's still a goddamn sand yeah like I said if Kamala Harris was the fourth most progressive like senator in the Senate at the time that she was a senator, uh which wasn't that long ago, that's not a praise of Kamala Harris that's an indictment of the Senate. And so that's yeah, the same thing with like the president, uh, the Biden administration. If the Biden administration is the most pro equality administration ever in the history of like the USA, that's an indictment of the USA. Not a praise for the Biden uh, uh, administration, but I guess spin. We all need to spin. Or, like, the Democrats are going to spin things as they want to. Continue on. Uh, Democrats is... Okay, I already said, is that that part. Uh, yeah, I'm not, and hopefully they bigoted practice from, like, uh, blood donation centers like Red Cross and other uh, local organizations and blood banks and so on and so on, are stopped refusing to, like, uh, accept blood from, like, gay men. Even though we can now test those blood for... Or platelets or plasma or whatever for HIV and AIDS. Uh, because, like, if you want, like, a gay or bisexual man to, like, give blood, or a gay or bisexual person to assign male at birth, um, to give blood and have to, like, wait a year to not have sex with their partner in order to, like, do so, that's, com come on. Especially if it's unnecessary now. It's just, like, completely bigoted, honestly. Uh, but continue on. On day one of his presidency, he signed a historical executive uh, order uh, extending federal non-discrimination protection to LGBTQIA plus uh, people, and he signed an executive order uh, strengthening civil rights protections in housing, employment, health care, uh, education, and the justice system. And audience gap. Uh, uh, no, 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 geek. If you let them donate blood, people might catch the dreaded the gays. Audience gas. That's right, because it's spread with our blood. And that is a problem if we spread the gays. It's all in their blood. It's blood, I say. It's all blood. Um. No, no. It's all. I honestly, yeah. Then it, it is like it, it is important that like he did strengthen like civil rights protections and housing and employment and healthcare, education and justice system. And, and he part with service members who's been like discharged for being themselves. Okay, that's good. That he did that, but that's because like again, it's like it's a low bar he crossed because we were such. A, I'm sorry if you heard the uh, motorcycle outside uh, because I have a window open still. Um, but it's such an incredible low bar because of how terrible and shitty like that this like country is like been as well too, um, and uh, no, no yeah it was worse when like Trump was in charge. In fact, actually when I started streaming, uh, my third and fourth stream ever was for like TLDF. It's because like my friends were just like TLDF Trans Legal Defense and Educational Fund. Okay, yeah, still have that as a command. And I'll also do that over on YouTube, even though it's going to be, like, weirdly broken up as well, too. Um, and, uh, yeah, on YouTube, I don't have, like, uh, I just have a description and stuff like that. I don't have, like, panels like I do on Twitch as well. So, I don't know if I want to, like, include so many things. Uh, I don't want to know if I want to include all my panels information that I have over on, like, uh, Twitch, and, like, in the part of the description in, like, um... Uh, on YouTube as well too. It's kind of weird things like, God damn it, Twitch. Yeah. Hey, what's uh, what Twitch should do this time? Um, it arguably reminds me of like what happened in Sweden. I think when like the politicians like stated that like being gay was an illness. A bunch of people like called in sick the next day and said that they couldn't come into work because they came down in the case of the gay. <laughs> Okay, I find that funny, honestly. Uh, but yeah, our game being gay is an illness is like terrible. Uh, and yeah, but like no, uh, as I was saying, like my third, uh, some why my third and fourth stream was like a part of a charity weekend thing as well too. Uh, my friends like thought it was like horribly shitty that like um, 
by uh, no trump uh basically allowed it for the um pod housing urban uh, department i uh, something like that the administration the executive administration office that well i guess in charge of like housing and then shelters in, in the federal government um uh, trump made his creed that like they can ban transgender people as well too trans folks and like uh, non-binary folks and other queer folks as well too and so that's why like a, a friend uh wanted to just do something to like raise money for like a organization that's kind of like fighting for like uh legal rights for like trans people so and so, so that's how they find um the transgender legal defense and education fund and wanting to like uh, get a bunch of people who got to do a charity weekend thing um which did include me um even though like I only trained like one time when I was asked, uh, said like I just like jump in the opportunity. Said sure, and uh, it was great. Uh, there was some behind the scenes stuff that was like hey, happening. It was like nasty, but like uh, on uh, most of the times on the stream is something like that. No, it was like great. Uh, Lucky Bun was actually a part of that treasury weekend thing too, and like uh, we were uh, be happy if we raised like three hundred or four hundred dollars for like the transgender legal defense and educational fund, and you end up raising like seventeen hundred. Um, the dollars for it and also a tldf uh was the transgender legal defense and education fund was not on tiltify which the tiltify is, at the time was a great way for it uh, probably still is a great way honestly it's a great way for like uh street, twitch streamers to like to do a charity thing and not have like that charity go to their personal paypal but then they transfer all that money over to like the charity that they raised from like that's what h barber guy did on his like 24 hour on his like a uh, charity stream for mermaids it's that like he the it was he went to his personal uh paypal and then he trans he was uh, upfront about that too and like he showed the like uh, screenshots and like and post and photos and posted to twitter and that's like that so oh but with like tiltify and they have the Tiltify, people that, like, donate to the Tiltify link, that donation goes directly to the organization, so, like, the uh, streamer does not uh, touch as well, too. Oh, so it was kind of cool that we were kind of, like, uh, work to, like, have, like, Trench in Legal Defense and Education Fund be on Tiltify. So now, after that point, anyone that's, like, a Twitch streamer wants to raise money for, like, uh, the TLDF can do so just by using tiltify maybe now it's like uh with the twitch like charity thing again twitch is always behind uh, like other uh, things that other people come up with um maybe the tilt the tldf is also on like uh tw the twitch charity uh so though that was happening and it is good that like biden uh undo that but like that's the thing too is it's like oh shit i just realized um, but that's the thing is just like it was such a low bar and like such we were it's on, almost under fascism honestly and that like by Biden and the uh, Democrats not being fascist is like oh revolutionary and like uh, so progressive and like that yeah you're starting from like a very low point that's how you're so progressive. Uh, continue on. As president, Trump rolled back like the LGBTQIA plus community saw hard fought progress. That was true. Uh, Trump gutted like a uh, uh, Obama's Biden saw anti discrimination protection for LGBTQIA plus Americans and banned transgender service like members from servicing, overruling the recommendation of military leaders and public health uh, professionals. And he appointed judges who opposed uh, same sex marriages and have sided with the businesses to reject the LGBTQIA plus customers and help implement the military's uh, transgender ban. Yeah, I'm not doubting that that's all true, and yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, Trump will be worse, but just like, the Democrats are bad too. The last bit of that tea was kind of strong, and again, I always like, often just like, leave the tea bag in, even though I'm only supposed to like, steep it for two minutes, and I don't want to use the tea bag, I use the tea bag, I never do that. And that would be bad tea if you use the same tea bag, yeah. Um, let's just get to it. What a person can be like a, a married in the morning and thrown out of the restaurant for being gay in the afternoon, something is still wrong. Um, there's a lot of things still wrong, honestly, but life will continue. That's why Democrats will pass the Equality Act to codify protection for LGBTQIA plus Americans with their families. And the Democrats had control of the House and Senate in 2020. And how come they didn't do that? We're in 2024. The Democrats had all the power by controlling the executive office and the legislative office. Yeah, the like the judicial branch has like been fucked in, like it's almost out of control of like the Democrats forever because like a lifetime appointments. Um, 
But how come they didn't do that? It, it, I, I mean, again, they're saying that's why Democrats will pass. Why didn't it happen before? No, I, I'm i calling bullshit on, like, you. Ha why didn't you do this when you had the power to do so? Maybe Joe Manchin was not improved up at this fall, too. Uh, anyway. Um... We will prohibit the employment the discrimination in the federal government. Uh, huh. Yes. Oh, we didn't know back then. Oh, fuck off. You knew. You fucking knew. You just like didn't care. Yeah, exactly. That's, let's say that's my point. Um, yeah, continue on. We will pro uh, prohibit like uh, employment discrimination in federal government, including contracts, and make the federal funded like uh, senior programs that you like play plus inclusive as well too. And I'm not like uh, going to like say that good like no more because honestly, the executive branch, like the administration, only has control over federal government and contractors as well too. Oh, uh, and so like out the, the private businesses are private businesses, and um, unfortunately. And uh, states they run offices uh, are controlled by the individual states as well too. That's uh, the the nation as well too. The, I, I and even though it's like I wish that the Democrats or like uh, Biden would do more. I understand that like there are limitations to the office of the president as well too. And honestly, I don't think there should be more limitations to the office of the president as well too. But yet in other ways, there's so many things that like the uh, the power that the office of the president have and the administration has. Um, continue on. And we will continue to like make great strides in protecting LGBTQI plus and children and the pros uh, and prospect the, the parents in the adoption and foster care systems. I mean, the I think the adoption and foster care systems. I I not well informed about that sort of system, but I imagine it's like terrible in a lot of ways too. And there's lots that need to be done about that. What needs to be done is like a great question. I don't have the answers to at all because I'm not. I'm not deep into like how the fucked up this particular system is too. Um, now again, uh, not uh, barring uh, queer folks from like um, adopting and fostering is being is good. Uh, a lot needs to be done with those systems. Anyway, from what I understand, if I'm correct on like um, the issues with those systems. Anyway, getting it tune on. Uh, President Biden has delivered on his promise to ban discriminations in healthcare on the biases of gender, gender identity and sexual orientation, and he has protected transgender Americans across uh, access to healthcare and coverage, including medical and necessary transgender affirming care, and implemented a national strategy to end HIV, HIV epidemic in this country. Democrats will build on this uh, progress to expand uh, medical health and suicide protection services for LGBTQI plus people. Yet, but again, yet. Biden allowed the Republicans uh, to basically, or how allow states to ban transgender. He's has has he if fucking knew to, like me about any kind of protection. I know, yeah, yeah, like access to the healthcare or something like that. <sighs> uh, I I mean, if it's still allowed for states to like individual states to like ban those like uh, access protections and like. How good is like the Biden or like uh, or Harris is or the Democrats are going to do about those uh, protections if the states are allowed to ban it? It'll be my question. Supersede the states and like that sort of thing too. I'd love to see that honestly. It's it's, it's weird where it's just like uh, some things you can't do that because it's federal, but other things it's like oh states can like do this as well too. Um, not over all the, like, the news I heard trans people being shot and uh, beaten and stabbed to death. Yeah, exactly. It, 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 uh, still a lot of bigotries of, like, against trans people all around the world and, like, in the USA. Um, that's why there is, that's why November 20th is, like, Trans Day of Remembrance. Well, too. Well, Trans Day of Visibility is, like, March 31st. And always March 31st. And sometimes Easter falls on that same day, too, because Easter is on, always on different Sundays. Right, but like March 31st is always trans day visibility. That's where we're loud and proud of being like visibly trans. It's only that we're trans to deal with it. Uh, but then uh, trans day of remembrance is November 20th. It's also my brother's like birthday, so that's how I remember too. And that's where you give remembrance. And my birthday also falls on the Easter some days. <laughs> yeah. And but that's why the trans day, because I'm. <laughs> Uh, listen, I'm trying to replace Jesus as well, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jesus died for you to be born. Uh, that's a weird thought. Um, but I guess, like, um, 
No, oh, uh, Lucidia, if like uh, uh, Crusader Sam is in my YouTube chat uh, next time I'm playing like a Skyrim or something like that, bring that up. That'll be. I want to know like his, his response to that as well too. Honestly, especially since Crusader Sam does say that like committing. Oh yeah, exactly. Crusader Sam has said that like doing homosexual acts is a sin. Uh, I think he clarified being homosexual in itself is not a sin, but doing homosexual acts is a sin. Uh, what's defined as homosexual acts? I wonder. Anyway, um, let's get you on with the document and not get too derailed. Uh, I'm, but the, it's okay if like I happen to derail myself or like something you said like derails me because like my neural surprises brain is like that too. But anyway, uh, Trump's wants to repeal the Affordable Care Act. He tried, he couldn't, but like yeah, he did try. Uh, the tokens tried as well too. Uh, continue on, which ha will increase costs and like rips away protections from LGBTQI plus Americans. Yeah, that's what's been part of the reason they wanted to do that. They did they wanted to repeal the Affordable Care Act because it was like communism as well too. But also they want to like privatize like every aspect of like our lives, and so that like uh, the private uh, entities and governments can like make profits off of everything as well too. The air we breathe, the water we need to drink, the housing we're living in, even our own health care as well too. I could do one. That landmark law ins ensures that LGBTI plus people across uh, nationwide can access the health care free uh, from discrimination and help reduce and the unsured rate amongst LGBTI plus Americans and their family members and ban insurance companies from like nine care or are charging more for people with pre-existing conditions. That was true that, that the Affordable Care Act did do undo all of that, which also happens to, I would say this is where it happened to help LGBTI plus cut, uh, Americans as well, because of like, now they can like get like uh, insurance uh, for their health care as well too. But I'm not sure if like the Affordable Care Act directly or explicitly said that it's also, also like they can access like, uh, uh, gender from care from the affordable care. Maybe it does. I will give the, the Democrats the benefit of the doubt that probably it does. And, or maybe I'll try to like talk to like my uh, queer and trans friends or something like that if they happen to get like the HRT or uh, gender affirming care from like the uh, healthcare.gov, uh, whatever the Affordable Care Act uh, website is, well, too. And if they're able to do that, okay, that's like is like a benefit to that system. I'm again, I'm giving the Obama Affordable Care Act uh, benefit the doubt on this, but I um I bet I I, I won't be surprised if I'm saying correct on that. But anyway, hey, but I'm also thinking that like it did help LGBTQI plus people because it just help everyone as well too, which I'm not against helping everyone either. Okay, uh, continue on. Uh, Trump's uh, Trump's mock of Republicans allies are also looking to like target. Surrogation uh, sur for LGBT plus Americans like next as well too. Uh, while I really just like the American healthcare system, allowing for people in the community to have insurance for healthcare does help. I suppose it's very much not nearly enough. The but well, oh um, yeah, no, no, city. Even like Medicare for all would Medicare for all would be a great improvement on like the healthcare system that we have right now. Oh, just like leave it out of the private sector as well, too. Now, it's still kind of like a health insurance for all, essentially. And that, but in, in which, like, is health insurance that still has to interact with the private healthcare system as well, too. Hospitals being for profits and, and, uh, all the pharmaceutical companies mean are for profits as well too. Oh, and and also like the uh, Obamacare and Affordable Care Act got like neutered in a way um, when it was like launched because there was compromises for the opting out thing or like what was it? Oh, the exchange exchange market as well too. It's 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 complex and complicated. I have to I don't remember all the details as well too. But there was a carve out to basically that allowed like private entities to like be kind of like part of the market as well too and i have my issues with that as well all right uh continuing on as per as president martin has said lgbt plus views are the some of the bravest people he knows Okay, well, but we're still not your inspiration honestly uh continue on and he has like a made a priority to fight for him ha ha i call bullshit no, this is where I call bullshit on this. Because I know he just allowed, like, uh, uh, states to ban, like, transgender... Uh, 
Okay, so, okay, the fr what I, what this says, as Prison Bud has said, LGBTQ plus youths are some of the greatest people he knows. Again, inspiration porn, but like, what? Well, and he has made it a priority to, like, fight for them. And yet, he compromised with the fascists to allow states to ban, decide if they want to ban transgender, like, athletes from the high school. From high school sports. So much for it making it a priority fight for them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, fighting for us unless it's inconvenient for him. The administration is combating the dangerous and cruel practice of so-called conversion therapy. Now, I can believe that they're doing that as well, too, because, like, conversion therapy is just, like, absolutely terrible. But, like, uh, we'll see. Um, Democrats have, like, uh, invested in, like, supporting LGBTQI plus, like, a youth uh, mental health, including through the Historical Bipartisan Safety Committees Act. Okay, especially when we're talking about, like, uh, queer rights and like that. I'm hesitant on the bipartisanship of anything that's good passed between, like, uh, the House and Senate. Because when bipartisanship means is that, like, both sides agree to it as well, too. Or you get enough support from, like, uh, both sides. The other party are fascists! So, like, you can almost say bipartisanship as a fascist. Or as fascist support, the safety communities that's I don't know what the safety community ads are. Or what kind of, like, earmarks that, like, or, like, compromises they made with the Republicans in order to get that passed. So, I'm kind of worried about that, too. Yeah, but maybe it's, like, yeah, but moving on. Uh, President Biden has also taken action to support LGBTQ black black youths in foster care and fighting book bans that's, like, such a, a, a plus, like, content. Well, I guess there's, like, not much, like, he can do about that. He probably can do it for, like, federal offices and federal schools and that sort of thing, too. Hey, but, like, it, 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 there's a lot of people that are still banning books from certain libraries that they have the power over as well, too. Anyway... He is on an accepted order recommitting the federal government to guaranteed educational environments free from like sex discrimination, in, including on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity. Um, I'll just move on. Uh, he signed a historical like a, the executive uh, order to address discrimination, legislation, and attacks against LGBTQI plus children and families, uh, directing key agencies to protect families and children, uh, seek for like healthcare and programs designed to prevent youth as, uh, youth suicide, and support LGBTQI plus like uh, children and families by launching new initiatives uh, to protect foster uh, youth, prevent homelessness, and improve access to federal programs. Okay, I will say one thing: if you truly are about like uh, preventing like a uh, youth uh, suicide and like uh, uh, and also improving lives for like a uh, queer foster or people as well too queer people in foster care and that sort of thing how about improve the whole system as well too if you truly like if you truly want to prevent homelessness too not just for queer folks but for, like across the board something like that I'll they get they allow people to use the houses that are empty take them out of the hands of like the like a greedy corporations or airbnb and other like organizations that like are keeping them empty because like something i like i said on just just Athlete, i happened to recent to like a couple of old episodes of hot bastards only a few year old so like why rent's too high and again like the the with the behind the bastards there is an entertainment uh, podcast show where we they talk about like particularly bastardy people um um uh, but my improve things for the orphans, but my monies. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it's a behind a bastard's only a cover about like individually bastardy people that kind of like contribute to some. And, and those episodes were about like certain and bastardy people that contribute to like why rent's so high. But they did mention about their MBB. But there's a difference between vacant homes and uh, empty homes. Because a vacant home is uh, something that is on, like, the rental property, is uh, on, open uh, to, like, be sold to, like, someone or to rent out to people, it is actual, like, things to be filled. But there's a, uh, and the reason why that's an important distinction is that, like, vacant homes does not include empty homes that are owned by someone but are not in use. Uh, like, no, no one's living there. And uh, Airbnb and other companies has bought a lot of, like, empty homes. Uh, and there's a lot of like a uh, place uh, empty homes that could be used but are not owned by a corporation, owned by something, owned by real estate investment, or owned by Airbnb, and are not being used because they want to, like Airbnb just wants to use it for like rental 
for temporary rental and that sort of thing. Um, and the and is not on the market because it's not vacant. And so it's a, 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 a go check out the behind the bastards on like how uh, why he rents so high and something like that for like a uh, Rob Robinson explained that and sort of thing too. But that's where I have the problem with like the housing market as it is is because it's all about protecting those like landlords and their interests and in, in, more than anything else as well too. Even though like um uh, President Biden says he wants to prevent homelessness as well too, he's not doing everything he can to prevent homelessness. That's uh, because he doesn't want to like uh, interfere with the housing market as well too. Um, so that's why I kind of doubt that he's doing everything he can to prevent those sort of things. And just prove the foster system as well, too, for old people, not just for or for old use, not just like in queer use as well, too. But I'm saying making the distinction of like trying to protect like LGBTQ plus children in those systems as well, too. Anyway, did you want? And he established a White House uh, task force to address online harassment and abuse to uh, help find online hate that dis disproportionately target LGBTQ plus like people, including youth. There is so much to do on that front. So, so much to do. You probably have to, like, get a greater with an anonymity, too. Or, like, be, uh, force Twitter to actually, like, ban bigots off this site as well, too. I mean, if you are actually going to address, like, online harassment and abuse, target, like, um, J.K. Rowling's or other, like, uh, terrible people like that. Or, like, uh, Grand Linehan. Gliner. Because they do a lot of those kind of things as well, too. I mean, I know that, like, it was over 10 years ago as well, but, like, how that, uh, how is, like, the federal government going to, like, do about, like, a uh, Gamergate sort of incident? It's, it seems like, I, I appreciate they're saying they're going to try to combat this sort of thing, too. I wonder how you're going to go about it, if you can go about it uh, well, and, and what you're going to do, and what's going to happen as well, too. Anyway. Uh, Trump is running on the extreme plan to punish doctors who treat mm, uh, by key, my freedoms. Yes, people's freedoms. Anyway, uh, continue. On. Trump is running on an extreme plan to punish doctors who treat transgender youth and like a uh, vaginal for me to like healthcare. Or, and his uh, Repu MAGA Republican allies uh, have pushed a tidal wave of uh, extreme anti-LGBTQIA plus pills in state houses across the country. Democrats will vigorously oppose state and federal bans on like, gender affirming care and respect the role of parents, families, doctors, not politicians, in making health care decisions. Uh, it was so funny when like uh, Dr. Oz uh, said that like it, uh, I, um, a mother or like it should be a pregnant person but this is dr oz so a mother's like right to like uh choose and have i feel it's more accurate in like the cases of people complaining about like twitter and other like social media is banning like fascists yeah i, I agree um it's like i don't know it's just like i some i, I don't know i get the feeling that like it's democrats will like try their best of like um opposed like the state bans but it's like they they my impression is that like they're like sorry we can't do it the Republicans like control that stage as well too and so they will just kind of say it subtly and urge like a hey, so if you want to like uh that state not ban like transgender health care want to vote in democrats in that state too but like the democrats don't have like a 50 state solution or uh, uh, thing but, no the democrats honestly only focus on the blue states that they can know they can rely really on and some blue states that they think they could or some purple states that they can they can swing over and turn blue as well too but all the deep red states they don't have like much like support or like for the uh for those candidates in those places too they i think they're pretty much on their own and that may be one of the failings of the Democratic Party as well, too. They're not willing to try to engage with, like, well, I understand we're not we're trying to engage with, like, some uh, deep red state, like, voters of rural forces that's, like, just MAGA country, so why bother? But, like, I, so I don't know how much, like, the Democrats are actually going to oppose, like, the states as well, too. They can impose federal bans as well, too, because, well, the uh, administrative office, when, like, the president is a Democrat, they can impose federal bans. Yeah, because that's their purview. But, like, states, I'm not sure how much they're going to, like, ta uh, uh, go against states that, like, ban, like, transgender people from existing. We'll, we'll see. Mm. Ooh. I like the sweet rose tea.
I kind of like noticed it. Like, wait, I have a pink bag. What this like pink bag tea is? Sweet rose. Um. Yeah, yeah, I and mean, like Doctor Oz like said that like and the state should be a part of the decisions of like uh if someone wants to become a parent or not. And it was just like that's so weird. So in the doctor's office, you have the expecting mother, or expecting parent, their doctor, physician, and like that, and then a state representative in that room. This uh metaphorically, it's just that's weird. Anyway, um, continue on. But that's on that was on reproductive rights as well too, not necessarily queer rights. But anyway, continue on. Uh, Democrats will continue to fight for LGBTQI plus use by building on. Um, Biden's uh presence minus historical actions to ban so-called conversion therapies, protecting like LGBTI plus like did, did they already mention conversion therapies? Well, okay, they mentioned again. Whatever. Uh continue on. Uh protecting LGBTQI plus like children from bullying and discrimination, guaranteeing that uh, transgender students are treated fairly and with respect at school, and ending the homeless crisis among LGBTI plus youth. How about you? I mean. Don't limit the like, ending the homelessness crisis by like uh, have it ending it amongst like LGBTQ plus youth. So I need it for like everyone as well too, not just queer folks. Um, but also Biden. Uh, the fact that the conversion standard is still sex is uh, abhorrent and absolutely disgusting to me. I agree, Lucidia. It's just like why it's allowed. I I don't know. Um, but also Biden, if you do want to ban bullying and discrimination for transgender students allow the transgender student athletes to participate in the gender in the gender that they identify with allow trans girls to like participate in like uh girls high school sports but no you you decide to like let the states ban that if they want to so this is why like all these like this is and this is all talk because it's like a party platform so it's just like this is what we are striving to do if we become elected and control the executive office and like legislative branches well too uh the judicial branch is kind of like uh they fucked up, honestly um these are just like promissory notes uh, it's just like it's it's a campaign like promises it's like it's all talk that's what it is that's what they have to do but i see there a lot of their talk uh, that sort of thing just very hollow which is why i do not judge the democrats by what they say they're not going to do i judge the democrats by their actions i judge the democrats by what they actually do or don't do uh. But biological advances, 20 years, in 20 goddamn years, not one trans woman has won an Olympic medal. Fuck you, biological advantage. I agree. And, like, the and then when a cis woman, a Swiss woman, is, like, they accomplished so much in that field or something like that, they could judge and soon to be and soon be trans. Or they, even cis women, get punished for having a biological advantage. A Olympic runner, sprinter. Or, uh, was, like, banned from, like, Olympic, uh, sports or the Olympics for having too much testosterone. And she's a cis woman. A black woman. So it's, like, policing women's bodies and women's appearances. And, again, the, like, uh, uh, cis woman boxer that won the gold from Argentina, uh... They, 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 with no evidence, no evidence whatsoever. They don't even know if she's been like has the chromosomes tested and like has X Y chromosomes. No, they like looked at her and assumed she has uh, X Y chromosomes, and that gets spread around. So they assume that she's trans. I purely, I imagine it's purely because she's like a person of color too. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. The city yeah, is because of that too. It's it's because that she was a woman, a cis woman that wasn't feminine enough. She is uh, looks mannish and uh was punching under women and was like so because like she did not like fit into like their narrow conception is of what is a woman and something like that they assume that she is like trans and 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 as a biological advantage in the sport it's someone who's like a six foot tall, it uh, uh, looks manish. I, uh, I know that's their logic, but whatever the fuck that means. I, I yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, uh, what it means to look like a man, what it means to look like a woman is all well, too. It's just like, yeah, uh, yeah, 
it's, it's, so yeah, it's just like it's because like the the it's like a trans panic uh, in like a trans women and women's sports and something like that also affects like cis women because it's the policing of like who is a woman and who's not feminist. And, like, anyone can look manish, anyone can look womanish. I guess I agree, Lucidia, honestly. Anyway, get you on. Um, LGBT plus Americans have long faced like the threats to their safety just for like being who they are. Uh, President Biden launched the LGBT plus like, community safety like, partnership to provide like community safety training, support and healthcare like providers who serve LGBT plus communities, and support LGBT plus uh, communities to report hate crimes and build cross uh, community partnerships to address hate fueled violence. The Justice Department is uh, taking a old department approach to protecting LGBT plus rights. Democrats will end violence like, against transgender. Americans, especially black and brown transgender uh, women, and prioritize the investigation of hate crimes against like uh, trans and non-binary people. First mention of non-binary people here, and finally they acknowledge about like how like um uh trans misogyny uh affects m m uh, black and brown like a uh, transgender like uh, people and transgender women a lot more. Because of how perceived mannish that like uh black people are and something like that, no, it's just like in, in, you're the you're not a woman is like a uh, targeted a lot more against like black around like uh trans women, and because of like the how not only uh terrible the sexual patriarchy patriarchy is, but also how white supremacist uh, is sexual our patriarchy is as well too. That's why Bill Hooks like said it's not just like the patriarchy, it's a white supremacist ableist patriarchy. Uh she said that in uh I think that was in her essay on what is feminist in this world. I did write that on the stream as well too. Democrats will end violence against transgender uh, Americans, especially Brecken Brown Chances. I really wish they would. Fuck, I really wish they would. Yeah, exactly. 